Hello all, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. I hope you're all well. Now in this video, we're gonna be adding a Ninja pop-up to um, our website, which I'm gonna, is gonna be the demo website. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now these pop-ups are great because um, you can use them to build your email list with things like MailChimp and Aweber and, and other email providers. So basically what happens is when someone goes to leave your website, you can pop up a message saying, hey, get something really cool off me, pop your email address in and join my newsletter. So um, I don't know if you've been over to wpeagle.com recently, but here it is. And um, you'll see I've got one that's on, on here. So uh, if you wanna see it in action, go to wpeagle.com and then go to leave the website and you'll see it pop up. So we're gonna add this box now to the demo website and um, I'm gonna take you through it. Okay, so the plugin we're gonna be using is called Ninja Pop-Ups for WordPress. It's available on codecanyon.net. I'll put a link up on the screen. And it's $20, a bargain, if I do say so myself. And it comes with loads of themes built in and it works with email um, responders like MailChimp, GetResponse, Campaign Monitor, iContact, MyMail, Constant Contact, Aweber, Mad Mimi, Infusionsoft, uh, there's loads really. Um, but if you haven't got one of them, you can just get it to email the responses straight to you so that then you can do whatever you want with them. So so I'm just gonna download the plugin. I've already purchased it, so I've got a download link here. You obviously need to create an account with Code Canyon and deposit some money and then uh, purchase it and then you can download it. So I've got it downloaded here um, onto my computer. Then once you download it, you need to open up the uh, the, the window, the folder, sorry, uh, wherever you downloaded it to. Then you need to expand the zip file that you downloaded. So I'm just gonna expand it on the Mac here like this. And then within that zip folder, you'll find another folder. And within that folder, there's another zip. Um, so that's quite confusing, but basically it's that zip that's within the folder that you just unzipped. That's the one you're gonna need to update, upload to your website. So, I've got this tab open here, which has got the demo site, which is available uh, to view at wpeagledemo.com. I'm logged in as, a, as the admin, so I'm gonna go to the dashboard. And I'm gonna go to plugins and add new. Then upload. And then I'm gonna to browse to that file that um, I downloaded, and then I'm gonna browse into the folder that I just unzipped from that file that I downloaded. Then I'm gonna select the zip file within that folder. So it's called rscode-ninja-popup.zip. So then we can click Install Now. And it's done. So then we can activate the plugin. Okay, so that's activated. Um, so we're gonna go down to Ninja Pop-Ups and I'm gonna add a new pop-up. And this one is just called um, my demo pop-up. Okay, and then here is where you can select some themes. So it comes with loads of cool um, different themes, all ready for you just to customize with your own text and images and, and whatever. So I quite, the one I'm using on WP Eagle I think is um, new theme six, let's just have a look. Oh, no, maybe new theme seven. That's a nice one then, it's nice. Uh, nope, I don't know which one it is then. <laughs> maybe it's theme seven, uh, I can't remember. That looks perfect for this demonstration. Um, so we choose our theme and then you can go down and play with some settings. So I'm gonna just have it say, get the newsletter. Oops, then you can change your colors if you want. For free tips. Then you can put some blurb in here. Here's some blurb about our excellent newsletter that you can get straight in your inbox. Perfect. And there we go. So there's not really that much you need to change, to be fair, uh, you can change the thing. I like to have the exit as a when the mouse leaves the browser viewport. So that's when they're kind of um, just about to leave and click close, that's when it pops up. You can select the icon you want to close it and some other things like where they redirect to after they've done and, and all those kind of things. But I think that, that's fine for us to get started. Let's publish that. 
pop-ups that's done. You can obviously have more than one pop-up. You can have an exit pop-up, uh, welcome pop-up, maybe a pop-up for certain pages. Um, it's got that kind of flexibility, this plugin. So that's done. Let's go to our settings and go through these. So in, the plugin's enabled, it's enabled on mobile devices. I don't actually want the welcome pop-up, so I'm gonna disable that. I want the exit pop-up, so I'm gonna select my demo pop-up, that's the one for the default. I want it on the home, the pages, the posts, uh, anywhere really. Uh, okay, that's good. Then the next one is the mailing list manager. So I, uh, it really depends on obviously what which software you're using. I'm gonna have it as, um, I normally have it as MailChimp, because that's the one that I use. Um, so you just select MailChimp and then you'd enter your API key, which I don't have to hand. Uh, but you can find it within um, within MailChimp. And it's similar for all these other ones. So Aweber, you log into your Aweber account and then you paste some code in there and then it works. As I said though, you can just store them in a CSV file or just have them have it as a HTML form where you kind of um, copy and paste your HTML form thing. But I'm just gonna have it as um, send opt-ins to email. So it's just gonna email me then um, when someone fills in the form with their details. Okay, there's promote here as well. So you can earn, um, if you're with um, the Envato, Envato affiliate program, but we won't worry about that. And there's a whole load of other advanced stuff, which again, you don't need to worry about to get it working. So let's go back to the front of the site now and see what happens. So, you know, people are, they're browsing the site and then they decide that they're gonna leave, so then they move their mouse up towards the top. And there's our pop-up. Get the newsletter, sign up today for free tips. Okay, so there, we're done. You've got your newsletter pop-up. Again, there's loads of themes. There's also a um, extra theme pack available as well, which I'll put up on the screen now, a link to, um, with a whole load more themes um, for this plugin. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, have fun setting up your pop-ups and hopefully you get lots more subscribers to your mailing list. If you like what I'm doing, please like this video and click the subscribe button and maybe just say hello on Twitter as well. That would be great. And I will see you next time. Happy WordPressing. <laughs>